Hi, it's Paul Munder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be taking a look at three of the plugins which are included with Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. Acoustica is suitable for audio editing, mastering and restoration, and it includes a wide variety of plugins which can all be used in Acoustica itself or within your preferred door. As you can see from the drop-down list within the Processing Chain section, you get a lot with Acoustica Premium Edition, and my goal today is to show you a couple of the ones which I use regularly. Before we do that though, I'll mention the fact that when you install these, you can also install AAX, VST and Audio Suite versions too. I've got the AAX versions installed, so I can access them from within Pro Tools when I need to, but if you're working in Acoustica, you have other very useful features too, most notably perhaps the Spectral Editor, but also there's a variety of editing tools, plus a loudness meter and spectrum analyzer. The first plugin I want to show you is Deplosive. This is a great tool for reducing or eliminating plosives caused by recording with either no pop shield or an insufficient one. To demonstrate this, I need to deliberately record some audio with pops, so I'll remove my pop shield and record straight into Acoustica. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter so that we can use the included Deplosive plugin to permanently pull out the problematic plosives. Okay, so some very obvious pops there. They were clearly audible and we can see them in the waveform. Now I'll go into the plugin list and find Deplosive, which is in the enhancement category amongst these dialogue-based plugins and just instantiate this. And the way this works is very simple. You have two main controls, a sensitivity slider and you've got this attenuation or rather maximum attenuation control here. I'm gonna start with this on zero so it's doing nothing and gradually introduce it. Although we could introduce up to 60 dB of gain reduction on the pops, we're probably not going to need that much so I'll just do as much processing as we actually require. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter so that we can use the included Deplosive plugin to permanently pull out the problematic plosives. Okay, that's actually very good. And let's just do an A-B comparison. So I'm going to bypass this, play a short section of it again without the plugin, and then once again with it. A premium edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter. Very, very obvious low frequency pops. And with deplosive. A premium edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter. So well, as you can hear, that's an excellent result, and Acon Digital Deplosive Dialog has actually become my go-to pop reduction tool. Next, I think we need to add some EQ to this, so I'm gonna go into the Tools section and choose Equalize, and we get the Equalize 2 plugin. This is actually a very good EQ. When I play the audio, you'll see that we have a Spectrum Analyzer in the background, and as you make changes and you add bands, in fact, you can add up to 12 different frequency bands, you can view both the input and the output spectral view within this so you get a useful visual comparison between the EQ'd and the un-EQ'd audio. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter. Maybe I'll just add a high pass filter to this as well and that's really easy to add a band. You just click here and you have a choice of eight different filter types including low cut, low shelf, peak dip, tilt, band pass, notch filter, high shelf and high cut. So it covers every potential EQ eventuality. But in this case, high pass. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter so that we can use the included Deplosive plugin. Okay, that's fine. You do actually also have this resonant peak if you want it, you know, so you can kind of add a bit of enhancement there to compensate for the fact that you've taken out some of the low frequencies. Maybe I'll just add a tiny hint of it. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. Something like that. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter. So and I just want to make another point about Equalize 2 before I move on. We have a phase mode selector. You can see we've got three choices here. Most EQ plugins work in minimum phase mode, which usually means extremely low latency, but it can introduce unwanted phase problems. Some EQs, including this one, offer a linear phase mode. Now this allows for the preservation of phase relationships, albeit at the cost of higher latency. Something that's unique about Equalize 2 though, is that we've got this additional mode, which is called mixed phase mode. This actually allows you to set the latency freely in the range of five, all the way up to 120 milliseconds, while still preserving the phase relationships as far as possible. I think of this as a bit of a hybrid between minimum phase mode and linear phase, and this actually gives you control over the potential pre-ringing artifacts which you can sometimes get with linear phase filtering. Now let's add a compressor. I'll click here in the processing chain, choose dynamics. This is the included compressor, which comes with Acoustica, but I really like it. So, you know, I use it in my Pro Tools sessions quite regularly. 
one thing about this is you have the option of auto makeup gain, which is quite nice because as you compress it, it compensates the output. So it sounds louder the more compressed it gets. Let's try this out. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. I'm going to deliberately pronounce plosives with no pop filter so that we can use the included deplosive plugin to permanently pull out the problematic plosives. Okay, that's good, but we can still see these pops in the waveform, and I just prefer it if they're not visible. So I can actually select the audio and then render it using the apply button here. And it's fairly quick. And here's the finished audio. I'll just play a little bit of this. This is a recording into Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. Great, so that's three of the plugins I use regularly in Acon Digital Acoustica Premium Edition. For just £159.90, it represents really good value for money, and the included plugin suite is actually hard to fault. For more information, check out my article on the Production Expert blog or visit acondigital.com. Thanks for watching.